Welcome everyone for another battle and uh, this is going to be the final clash, ace match, third game on this best out of three on the group stage from Dreamhack Summer 2011 between these two very menacing players. For the final time they're going to have one last chance to just step up their game and bring their A game to the stable and crush their opponent. Spawning on this bottom left position, we're gonna have from Finland, Nama from Team Virus. He's one of the good solid Terran players that we have here on the tournament scene on this European side of the StarCraft 2 community. He might not hold the same amount of reputation as other Terran players, but he is a solid one. Do not underestimate him or he will crush you. So uh, I'm pretty sure that his opponent is aware of that. Being his opponent, this blue Zerg, spawning here on this top right position of Zelnaga Caverns, E.G. Idra, member of Team Evil Geniuses, North American Zerg player and amongst the finest in the whole world. Huge macro beast, do not leave him alone, do not let him macro as much as he want, or when you get to his side to try to crush him, it will be way too late. He's a killing machine, be careful with him, and I'm hoping that Nama is aware of that. What I do know is that Idra, I'm pretty sure he has a plan to just destroy Nama on this game and take the win, so let's see what's gonna happen here. For now, as you can see, both of them just starting their openings, there's not much going on. Fairly early gas here, grabbed by Nama, along with the barracks getting established here, close to prepare a wall off. There's a little gap there, so maybe he's gonna have some kind of attachment attachment there soon enough. And um, meanwhile, either going for a fast hatch on his natural expo. Keep in mind that it's kinda hard to defend this place. Very wide open, a lot of vectors to approach your opponent's base. Also, very good positioning for the flanking on both sides. So uh, it might be troublesome for defending, but I'm pretty sure that Idra is aware of that. He already played here a million times. Spawning pool going down just now, so it's gonna take him a while to actually have some uh, defending units to uh, thwart any kind of harass coming from Nama's side. And meanwhile here on Nama's main base, Tac Lab getting attached to the barracks. We might be seeing some Reapers, might be one of the options. There it is, Reaper popping there on the barracks. So you're gonna have plenty of harass while the SCV from Nama arrives here, spots that natural expo, he knows that Hydra went hatch first, he's just gonna go in here and take a look around just to make sure, and now Nama knows that Hydra will be taking a little while to have some proper defenses, and going straight into a bunker, ooh, applying the pressure, maybe trying to get a fortified position to get those Reapers in it and try to blast away with the charges. Meanwhile, Hydra just leaving his drone here, I wonder if he's planning some kind of gas still later on, what I do see is that this bunker is down, forcing Hydra to pull some of his workers out, and at the same time, we have Nama landing another bunker on the far left side of the natural expo, so this is gonna be two bunkers for Hydra to take care of, obviously two bunkers for Nama to build as well, it's not gonna be easy, and this might force Hydra to pull more workers out, but no, the Zerglings finally came out, along with the Reap Reaper that it's arriving here, SCV destroyed with both bunkers incomplete, and now we have this single Reaper going back and forth on the natural extra from Hydra, racking up some nice quick kills, two kills, three, he's gonna be able to just micro until he kills all of these Zerglings easily, especially Zerglings without speed, and Nama seems committed to building this bunker, sending a second SCV there, while this Reaper advances here towards the main base from Hydra, intercepted by a Queen, almost killed, and meanwhile on Nama's base, as you can see, he went for a gas steal, gra grabbing that extractor, delaying any plans that Nama might head to advance there and grab more gas, forcing this Reaper to stay at home and just blast away with his charges, that extractor. But at the same time, we could see Nama preparing to expand. As you can see, the command center is getting close to halfway done. And meanwhile, on the back, we have a factory there and he's going back and forth with those uh, buildings, which is a bit awkward, a bit strange, getting bunker there on the back as well. And we do see that um, Nama won't be able to have any success with those bunkers that he tried to position here on the front line, right in front of the natural expo for Midra. Hydra with his queens is gonna be able to poke at them, forcing Nama to cancel, trying to recover at least some of the money he invested there. And um, we're gonna have now Zerglings coming out. Seems like that Hydra was able to defend this just fine. We have a couple of Reapers here. They're gonna be used, I'm sure, that um, 
gonna try to position them on the Zalnaga Watchtower so he can have full map control, well at least that middle area will be completely controlled and either attacking up quite quickly going for that lair tech, playing out of two bases, no signs of gas on the natural exo meanwhile, he's just grabbing the second one inside his main base and we do see a nice wave of zerglings advancing when the metabolic boost is almost finished so the zergling speed will be able to kick in fairly soon and probably roast and chew on any of those uh, g workers or reapers or marines that might be trying to come out of the main base from Nama. Here he comes, all of the Zerglings attempting to enter the main base, but no, there's a wall off here. You've seen that Hellion as well as I did, so we have some Hellions moving towards the middle of the map. Hellion just chew through Zerglings quite quickly, but Zerglings with speed will be a big menace. They will be able to get us around as long as um, Nama doesn't take care of microing properly his Hellions. And now either just pulling back into his bases, he's connecting both of his bases with, with creep. Inside his base there's still not much going on, he's just taking care of upgrading to the lair tech, which he just did, and now getting some static defenses there, while Idra has some nice patrolling units here. This bunch of Zerglings will be able to intercept any madness advancing, and he's placing a Spire on this corner, so fairly quick Mutalisk play, seems to be um, shaping up to be a Mutalisk play here. Um, Mutaling combination, quite effective, very fast, will provide a lot of map control and a lot of harass for the Zerg player. And we do see now that the Hellions are advancing, but Hellions on creep against Zerglings with speed, it's dangerous. Nama will have to micro this very well or he's gonna lose those three Hellions so fast. Three Queens defending here, taking care of the creep spread. Nice creep highway that Idra is preparing here. Still very early on the game, keep that in mind. And we do see that Nama keeps massing up more and more Hellions. They're still more in production. And at the same time, apparently he's preparing to invest more on his bio build after this harass. We do see the expansion getting landed there. Inside his base, there's more barracks. So a nice commitment to a, a bio play after this Hellion harass. For now, he still has four Hellions alive and kicking. This for the Hellions will be able to contain any Zerglings coming out, but uh, he needs to be aware of that creep. Zerglings on the creep, they will be able to apply a ton of pressure on these Hellions. And here they come, this time backed up by SEVs and Marines, trying to advance towards the natural expo for Midra, making a solid push here, but I think Idra might have what it takes, focusing fire on one of the spine crawlers. There's a second one on this right side, and all the Bailings, oh, just melting away all of that bio force from Nama. Brilliant play there by Idra. Banelings with no speed, able to just catch those marines on the creep and just melt away their faces. So nice there, beautiful melt by, by Idra, very well defended and containing this aggression that was uh, attempted to be done by Nama. Nama will be able to run away, there's plenty of Zerglings here, there's not much left of his forces. Notice that he's even sending reinforces here, but I mean, there's not even close to enough. Well, did you see Idra finishing his centrifugal hooks, so bailing speed incoming and getting a lot of mutalisks out. This is going to be very dangerous for Nama. I don't think that Nama has any kind of stable defenses for now. He's pumping out more and more bio. There's no signs of missile turrets. I was wondering if there would be any engineering bay around as well, but no, he's just trying to mess up a nice bio ball and he might be for a surprise when he sees this amount of mutas popping on his base and here they come. Mutalisks going straight towards that Zelnaga Watchtower might not be the best option. Those Marines might be able to shoot a lot of these Mutalisks running away, but now Idra apparently with this Mutaling combo, he will be able to have a lot of, sp of speed and run back and forth, covering a lot of ground on this map, meaning that he will be able to contain and harass most of the forces from Nama, and at the same time poke and prod on the bases from Nama as well. He's expanding again, third base and a, a macro hatch here, what else is getting built here now taking care of his upgrades evo chamber rolling and the steam pack he's attempting to get it up once again but uh, doesn't seem like it's going to be anytime soon still taking a little while and these mutas are just going to fly back and forth here on this middle area middle region of the map making sure that nothing from nama will be able to climb up north and try to harass especially this third base which is just starting so a bit fragile at the moment what else is on the production tab? Let me take a look. Getting a lot of Zerglings at the moment, making a big Mutalisk wing. Let's take a look at the unit composition for now. 14 Zerglings, no, I'm sorry, 20 Zerglings, 14 Mutalisks, and also 7 Banelings against 22 Marines. Marines are dangerous, they're quite effective, especially with the... Um, 
with the stim pack against the mutas. But um, you know that you get to a point where you have that critical mass of mutas. There's so many of them, there's no chance whatsoever for the marines. For now, he's just harassing here. Oh, he's gonna focus fire on that reactor. Well played, nice snipe there by Hydra. And running away with some guerrilla tactics. He's gonna be able to put out a lot of pressure on Nama and maybe keep some of the forces from Nama at bay. Why, at least while he doesn't have a proper defense with missile turrets, which he is building now. There it is now, engineering bay, working on some of the upgrades, starport on the back. He seems like to be uh, getting ready to be configured as a standard m and and m but um, might be having some siege tanks. I do see some factories here with the tech lab, so we might be seeing some siege tanks backing, the, backing up this m and m and m force. There's the siege tanks already, some of them established to provide some static defenses, some, some uh, uh, positions, defensive positions on this natural expo, but they won't be able to do much against this amount of mutas. And I see more and more mutas coming out, three more mutalisks and more zerglings. Let's take a look at the units again. 21 mutas and 20 zerglings so he is focusing on his mute account and on the economy as you can see he's just completely booming skyrocketing while we have nama around a thousand we do have Hydra almost peaking 2,000, so double the production, 75 workers against 36, meaning that Nama is falling way, way behind here on his economy. And here he comes, Nama trying to make a push here with all of his forces, but I mean, this bioforce backed up by siege tanks he is a threat, but I think that Hydra, with the amount of units and the supply that he has, playing out of three bases, grabbing a fourth now on that far right side. He's going to be able to have enough to just throw at Nama's face and kill him. If he doesn't kill him with these mutas or with the Zerlings, he can send a second wave. I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to replenish his army much, much quicker than Nama. Taking a look here, as you can see, right position with Hydra expanding to a fourth base there. This Marine's attempting their luck, but uh-oh, Zergling with speed, Banelings and a big mass of mutas advancing here. This is going to be really dangerous for Nama. We'll be able to defend, oh, a big mass of uh, um, Marines getting completely blasted by those mutas. And now we have this big mutalisk force going back and forth trying to contain the aggression. There's a single missile turret there, but I mean, it's gonna be completely destroyed in a couple of seconds with a, a muta wing of this size, of this proportions. 24 mutas at the moment. Nama doesn't seem to have anything to do against such numbers. Apparently he's just resigned to get his two base play rolling and seems like he's trying to get a proper army, but he's so far behind. Notice the difference on the um, on the supply, 159 against 79. Obviously a sign that the macro A game from Hydra is present on this match. He's just macroing like a bitch. He was able to uh, um, contain the aggression from Nama on the early stages of this game. And then after that, he was able to just get this big mutalist wing that provide him with a lot of air control and map dominance while allowing for a lot of harass as well. Look at how fast he goes through those missile turrets. And it's just too late when finally the ground forces from Nama arrive on the spot where he's just wreaking havoc. For now, seems like that Hydra is planning on grabbing a fifth. It will be his rich mineral field. Inside these bases, as you can see, double Evo chamber for now. Seems like we're gonna have some kind of skirmish there on the middle. I would like to take a look here at the bases. This one with the mineral field almost exhausted. And here on Nama side, we have plenty of barracks. Also, finally, the armory. So maybe he might be planning to back up his army with a couple of Thors to focus fire on that big mutalisk wave. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be the case. He's, oh, there it is. He's getting a Thor now. And notice the mutalisks. They're just going back and forth and l making just the life on Nama a complete hell. And here he comes, advancing towards Nama's forces. He just has a small bulk of Marines there. 33 mutas against 33 uh, um, Marines, backed up by 55 Zerglings and Banelings. And here they come. Banelings just surrounding everything, trying to hunt down the Marines, the bio forces, with those mutas just sniping all the siege tanks. There's not much left of the forces from Nama, forcing Nama to run back home. And there's what, like five, four units left of his whole, of his whole army? And Nama just GG's out of the match. Just a complete, massive Zergling tsunami knocking on his door. There was nothing left for him to do. He didn't have enough forces. He was contained on that two base play. The Mutalisk wing was just way too big. And Deidre was just using it for very, very um, efficient um, 
efficient counter and efficient containment all of that map control that it was provided by that mutalisks going back and forth and also the fact that he had this big amount of production as you can see he was currently on five base play with a macro hatch here on the back while we had nama playing out of two bases for a long long time and basically feeling contained he, he felt that he was at risk if he attempted to expand and when he actually um, tried to come out with his force as well he had an insurmountable force of zergs waiting for him Idro was just saying come at me bro i'm gonna crush you gonna kill you and so he did so 2-1 win here for Idra. No questions asked. This Mutalisk wing paid off brilliantly. Congrats to Idra. Let's go for the next series. See you all later. Have fun.